Welcome to another edition of Health Options. I am Rabi Abdullah. Thanks for joining us on the program. According to former World Health Organization Director General Dr. Margaret Chan, much of the ill health, disease, premature death and suffering seen on a large scale is needless, as quality, affordable and accessible intervention, talking about medicines, are available for their prevention and treatment. In Nigeria and many other developing countries, the flooding of the drug markets with poor quality medicines is a major public health challenge. It is estimated that at least 1 to 10 medicines in low and medium income countries are of poor quality. Health Options takes a look at these and other salient issues in the pharmaceutical subsector. Cholesterol is a fatty substance made by the body and found in certain foods. The body needs some cholesterol to function properly, but high cholesterol puts an individual at risk. As people age, cholesterol levels tend to rise. Men are generally said to be at a higher risk than women. However, a woman's risk increases after she hits menopause. Don't miss out on knowing the symptoms of high cholesterol, how to prevent and manage it the natural way and other useful information on cholesterol. <music> Joining me in the studio to trash out issues revolving around the pharmaceutical subsector, it's um, Malum Ahmed Ibrahim Yakase. He is the president of Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria. Welcome to Health Options, Malum Ibrahim Yakase. Thank you very much. Yes. You know, at the mention of uh, the pharmaceutical subsector, a lot of issues just, you know, get thrown up because there are so many issues to really, really talk about. I'm talking about the issue of uh, issues like universal health coverage. We're talking about drug sufficiency. We're talking about local production of drugs. We're talking about even this uh, common uh, trade tariff that's it, talking about ECOWAS now. So, but let's start with this allegation that is making the round out there that essential drugs cost more in this part of the world than even in our neighboring countries such as Ghana and Togo. Why is that so? Well, thank you very much for having me here. And honestly, when it comes to the cost of medications, cost of drugs in Nigeria, there are so many reasons. One, the production cost. The high cost of production in Nigeria is very high. Secondly, the weak financial base. When you think of 21% interest rate, 25, no single digit interest rate. Well, of recent, CBN started to come up with the idea of 9% for manufacturers and so on. And of course the infrastructure. So when you aggregate so many factors that makes people to shy away from local production, to think of importation, which to us, the way it is, the importation has competitive advantage to the local production. Because there they have single digit probably 3% interest rate. They have all what it takes to produce quality products and they dump on us. The second aspect is the issue of common external tariff where the ECOWAS countries, I think about 170 countries sign the, 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 convention. the convention, but the ECOWAS also localized their own where they said Finished products will attract 0%. Raw materials will attract 5 to 25%. You have the active ingredients, you have the intermediaries, recipients, and so on, and then you have the packaging system, all to make the finished product. So you can imagine those importing finished product will face zero duty the raw materials we will pay off to 25 percent we wrote position paper we visited the president the minister of health and so on where they now come up with a 
fiscal policy, new fiscal policy, and instead of making the raw materials, the intermediaries to attract zero, they left it as it is, and now created another regime that is Infault Adjustment Tax, attracting 20% for the finished product. Even though there are some orphan drugs that still you can pay 0%. Oh. Yeah, so all this, surely, when it comes to multiple taxation, the local production will be costly. So there's been so much talk about universal health coverage. How do we achieve this in the, in the country well, if we cannot, you know, get our manufacturers to locally produce the drugs that the populace need? We have to implement the National Health Act. Every word should help primary health care centre. Every local government should have a general hospital. And of course, they have a system where the state government can attract funds from this system. You could say that uh, the environment does not really favor local production of drugs, but some other people have said that your members, that's the pharmacists, those even into manufacturing, think it's more profitable to import those drugs than locally. They, that the least they even do is that even the packaging. No, it's not true. You see, uh, before now, yes. M only multinationals come to Nigeria to import, to bring in drugs, to distribute. Later they started production, L then they checked out because of economic hardship and so on. But the local manufacturers started coming out to a point we have almost 180 manufacturing units in Nigeria, manufacturing companies. 120, they are under the window of PMG Man, Pharmaceutical Manufacturers Group of Manufacturers Association of Nigeria. But the rest also, they are all registered by Pharmacists Council of Nigeria and the products registered by NAVDAC. So we have them. But to be honest with you, with the factors I mentioned earlier, mm. it is business. It's easier to import because a lot of them bond their fingers. You are aware of recent four companies went for pre-qualification of World Health Organization. Two of them outrightly collapsed because the local patronage, especially by the government, is less. Even the government, they import, they buy from uh, manufacturers outside. So there should be a change but in the of way this course, is Of when the patronage is here, yes. when the economic environment, the business environment is right, when the banks are ready to support, to strengthen the pharmaceutical sector, why do we want? We want local content. For especially, let me tell you, the intravenous solution companies uh, is in the prohibition list of the government. Only four companies, the major four companies, are producing. They are producing to capacity utilization. But I can tell you, the, the capacity can only give 25% of our requirement. Talk of syringes. Syringes, we need almost four billion per annum. But the capacity we have is less than one billion. So, so, one can't avoid so, the so definitely like Ethiopia now, the government intervene. They have a hope for pharmaceutical sector. They put all the infrastructure. They give all the cushion as far as finance is concerned. They give training. They give incentives that will really, even if you are not in pharmaceutical sector, you will be attracted. Yeah. So th this some is, that's places, the sort of thing yes, that some places. Emulate. If you are ready to establish pharmaceutical industry, I tell you, you will not be taxed because you are generating serious employment. You are saving lives. You are producing something that will enhance the quality of your people. Okay, let, let's uh, take a look at the issue of uh, fake and substandard uh, medicines. Now, it's still, you know. 
an issue that we've been contending with, you know, and we seem not to have, you know, gotten a solution to that. Nigeria remains a dumping ground for that. We have people who are into that nefarious activity. W what's your take on this ugly phenomenon? Let me tell you, 80% of drugs being distributed in Nigeria go through the open drug market. And by all standards, by law of the land, it's illegal. We have advocated for the closure of this market, not only because of picking, there is tendency of drug abuse. Yes. There is Which issue is of, another problem. Yes, there is society. issue of insecurity. A guideline was formulated, accepted, adopted during the National Council on My Health. A date was given that all this market will be given alternative will be closed because <laughs> in civilized society you cannot sell drugs like cola nut. It's not possible. Postponement four times. And now we have new date. That is 31st of December well, 2018. Yeah. And I cannot see it coming. Why? Well, I think we should be optimistic. I, can, I that, have uh, been optimistic, but I cannot see it coming. Around, I have you know. been I have been a prophet of that. I I so I'm an optimistic person. But between now and December, I cannot see it being implemented, to be honest with you. And I cannot tell, I've, I feel bad because we're talking of human lives. It's not about money. Hmm. So we keep on postponing, postponing, postponing. Even common, uh, we cannot sanction our members, area members, because we don't have counsel. For the last three and a half years, we have been begging for the constitution of Pharmacist Council of Nigeria. And you cannot discipline. They are the body given by law to discipline pharmacists, to train pharmacists, to check the practice. So but we don't have the council that can really, because it's a system. So you are invariably asking so government to reconstitute the council we have of been uh, asking. The we have been council begging. of Nigeria. Because National Health Act is talking about standard. Yeah, let's just hope that let's talking uh, about framework let, let, let's standard. Hope, uh, that government will do that I as hope. soon as possible. I since hope. it's something that really Pharmacist Council of Nigeria, Medical Council of Nigeria, I see no reason why they will not be reconstituted. Okay, you have uh, stirred the affairs of uh, the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria in the last three years, and I know that uh, very soon you are going to have a new ex school. What would you say remain your key achievements as the president in the last three years? I, I came up with 23 point agenda, only two that I have not been able to achieve. Okay. And that one is because of intricacies and probably the issue of the leadership of the Federal Minister of Health. I see no reason why they cannot do it. What is that? One. Is the normal standard. If I'm a specialist in all the developed civilized climes, as a pharmacist, I have right to go to any Venice as far as training is concerned. Pharmacists, we have West African Postgraduate College of Pharmacists. We have fellowship. Since 2011, it has been approved that we should have consultancy cadre for the pharmacist. If you can give other professional bodies, I see no reason why you should not give pharmacists. On the, the patient's right of bill, yeah. that was launched by the federal government and has already commenced implementation. Yeah. What, what's your take on it as a pharmacist? Because it's all about ensuring that a, uh, the patient does not get uh, treated the other way or short-chained or just, you know, the patient should be given the best that he or she deserves. It's a fundamental human right. We believe in it. Okay. But okay. the only snag where we said, we even went to court. Because if you have an erring doctor or pharmacist by the Consumer Protection Council, the organ that promoted yes. the launching of the yeah. patient. Yeah, well. So we went to court to say that you, if you arrest or if you get somebody and he has a professional body, 
you should hand him over to that disciplinary committee. We have a law. It's like high court to discipline that one, not Consumer Protection Council to sanction a pharmacist or doctor. No, they don't have that right. Okay, so we went to court and we got favorable uh, uh, ruling. Oh, so that's been taken care of. That has been taken. Okay. So we are for patients' right of bill. Okay, thank yes. you so much. Thank uh, you, thank you. Malam uh, Ahmed Ibrahim say for coming on Health Options. Thank you very much. Oh, you are welcome. Good heart health is like a building block. The earlier you start making healthy lifestyle choices, the better off you will be as you get older. This is particularly true when it comes to high cholesterol. Check out our health tips on knowing the symptoms of high cholesterol and how best to prevent it. <music> Cholesterol is, is a is part of is substances called um, fats, lipid and fats, and it's actually essential to the body. It's used in making cell membrane, it's also used in the covering of nerves and in making uh, certain hormones, especially our sex hormones, the estrogen and testosterone. So it's an important um, ingredient for the body. But when it's in excess, it causes problem. It's becoming a new world problem, uh, especially for us in the developing world, because our lifestyle is changing to the Western way. The assumption that uh, cholesterol, high cholesterol levels is only associated with fat people is wrong. It can be seen in slim people, it can be seen in, even in children. So now there are different types of high cholesterol problem. There is the, the familiar one, the one that has to do with someone's genes. There is also the other one that we call secondary uh, hyperlipidemia or secondary hypercholesterolemia. One of the causes of this secondary high cholesterol is obesity that's being fat. But it's not the only cause. Our habits, physical activity, alcoholism, smoking, and even some other health conditions. It's important to note here that like with every other, um, every other uh, factor for cardiovascular disease comes silent, like diabetes, hypertension, hypercholesterolemia. So most of the time they're going to be silent in the body. So in this we advocate routine checks However, there are some instances where it can cause a little problem, like it can give some skin rashes, we call it eruptive xanthomas or xanthelasmas, where it leads to patches on the eyelids. Uh, if a particular portion of it, which we call the triglycerides, is also dangerously high, it can lead to recurrent abdominal pain and even frank pancreatitis. But I would not advise anybody to wait for these signs and symptoms. It's better we go for a routine check. When we are looking for health, and especially having a healthy food that uh, would not increase our cholesterol levels nor increase our body weight, we have to adopt certain meal plans. And these are the dietary approaches to stop hypertension, DASH diet, and the Mediterranean diet. The Mediterranean diet may be a little expensive to practice around here because you have to cook with olive oil. You have to your protein has to come from um, has to come from sea, seafood and a lot of nuts in it. So the Dash diet is a as an eating plan. It it has various components. So one of them is uh, low salt intake. You have to consume less than 6 grams of salt a day when you adopt, adopt the DASH diet. Another feature of DASH diet is high fruit and vegetable intake. In fact, it proposes about 5 portions of fruit and vegetables per day. How do we know which fat is good and which fat is not good? So generally speaking, 
fat obtained from plant sources is better than fat contained from animal source. In other words, the vegetable oil is better than the animal oil. The margarine is better than the butter. The butter is gotten from animal fat, while margarine is gotten from plant fat. These fats are classified as saturated or unsaturated. How to know a fat that is high in saturated with fat, saturated fat is that it will congeal in room temperature. And this takes us to one popular oil we use in Nigeria, the palm oil. It has about 50% saturated fat, 50% unsaturated. Remember, saturated fat is not good. So we have to limit our intake of, of uh, palm oil. The plant oils are better than the animal oils. A stitch in time saves nine. We take you to Nature's Scanner where you would get to know how to prevent and manage high cholesterol the natural way. There are several natural products, plants, herbs in our environment that when you ensure that it is part of your meal, then you are sure of being free of the problems associated with high cholesterol in the blood. We will mention a few of those plants or herbs of food that are available to us. This food when you, in fact, for people that have already high cholesterol, eating this food regularly actually reduces this cholesterol level. So it is nature's own way of treating high cholesterol. There are also food that when you eat, there are also plants or vegetables that when you consume, and they form part of your diet. You don't even have the problem of going into high cholesterol level. One is oats. The popular oats that we all know, the oatmeal. Oatmeal, every morning, can actually prevent you from having what we call high cholesterol level. And when we say high cholesterol level, we are talking about the bad cholesterol. We are talking about the low density like the protein, you know, part of the cholesterol. So, because oatmeal has a lot of what we call soluble fiber. What soluble fiber does is that it, it in a layman language, it, it gums, it gums, you know, the cholesterol in the digestive system and even prevents it from getting absorbed into the uh, uh, blood system. So, get to your backyard and get your oats. Vegetables and fruits like grapes and apple have wonderful effect on ensuring that you don't have high cholesterol. Why? Because they are also rich in production of soluble fiber and what we call sterols and stanols, which are very good in ensuring that one does not come up with high cholesterol level. Vegetable oil, some vegetable oil like sunflower oil, if you have to take eat vegetable oil, then those are the kind of vegetable oil you, you should avoid things like uh, 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 palm oil, coconut oil, you know, and a lot of chocolates. These are implicated or they lead to high cholesterol level. Now, apart from these vegetables, apart from these vegetables which are plant origin, today at, at Nature's Corner we should talk about animal food. We should reduce and avoid red meat or dairy fat products. Rather, you should eat what we call fatty fish. Example of fatty fish is salmon because this has a, is rich in omega-3. In fact, omega-3S has a very high uh, 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 propensity of ensuring that you don't have high cholesterol. 
According to Hippocrates, the father of medicine, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. As you conclude this edition of Health Options, a quick reminder that you can go to our YouTube channel to watch the upload of these and other episodes of the program. Email us for your comments and contributions at healthoptions at nta.gov.ng. My name is Rabi Abdallah. Many thanks for your time. Thank you.